they have on the pro-life, pro-Obama website, they have an entire page that says what Obama will do. And it says, an Obama administration will do more than a McCain administration for the cause of life by drastically reducing abortions through giving women and families the support and tools they need Just cut to, to the choose policy. life. Well, <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's a huge list here of different things. Okay, just um, give me an example. Making sure health care is affordable, combating okay. poverty, providing good paying jobs, and sec- ensuring so, security in life's final years. So the burden of proof is on them to say that if you provide health care, is that actually going to drop the number of abortions? Well, the, if you provide these services, is that actually going to drop the number of abortions? The, the interesting mm-hmm. thing is, I mean, he goes down, and he does list to his credit. This is mm-hmm. actually, Josh, if you want to read this later, um, Maybe if we come back, I've and seen do the entire show. website. I just, okay. I just don't think we need to respond to every there, single thing. They no, say I mean on the show. We, we don't. But there's, there is some interesting stuff. I mean, he does make some very good points, saying you know, uh, he supports paid maternity leave. He supports that's good. Uh, there's already affordable that. daycare. Federally mandated paid maternity leave, isn't there? I know uh, there is in California. Has well, been and that's the interesting thing. Um, I, I will say this, and I'd be very interested to see some of the comparison on this because. Mm-hmm. Being in California, you get a little bit of a different perspective it's on true. a lot of things political. Because we already have most of these things. A lot exactly. of these things that they mention, um, fortunately, a, a lot of times, and again, I think this is a common misconception among people that are in the media that say, oh, well, and, and from people, unfortunately, that are either in the media or in academia. And they say, well, we can fix all of the world's problems just by providing more social services. Right. Uh in California, mm-hmm. we have about the most social services of any state in and the entire. Probably the most social problems. <laughs> well, the thing that's interesting, and I'd like to, I'd like to see a comparison. Mm-hmm. It'd be very, it'd probably be a deep study that we'd have to see, Josh, if we know anyone that it's done this much research. But in California, we probably have the most care available for women and children through, you know, uh, you know, food stamp programs, through daycare through welfare, through all these different types mm-hmm. of things. California is one of the only stations, in, uh, only stations. states <laughs> states in the entire nation, that's what I was trying to say, that we currently don't have any limit on welfare. You can go on welfare, and in a lot of states, there's a mandated five-year maximum that you can be on welfare. There's no maximum in California. That's just one example of the types of social programs and how, right. I guess you could say, ahead of the nation, California is in providing these services. However, California also has about 12% of the nation's population, but we have about 25% of the nation's abortions. So So per capita, even though we have all these great social services, I hope I'm not stealing your thunder too much, You're not, but I'm I'm just going to move some stuff around because I've actually got, there's actually been some research, some specific research done on how welfare uh, spending changes the abortion rate because Catholic... Catholics and Alliance came out, came out with this study that they that they did, mm-hmm. saying that you know it's welfare and not pro life legislation that's going to reduce abortion. And uh, and Michael New, uh, who's a political scientist, mm-hmm. came out and and actually took a look at their study and basically said, He's "Wow, a PhD from Stanford, isn't he?" I think so, but I, yeah, sure yeah. he is. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> I, I think yeah. And, and I actually went through this and he basically went in and said, wow, their study is really crappy because, I mean, <laughs> I mean, they, they used completely all the wrong numbers and, and, and ignored different things. And I've got this whole study here. I'm going to link to all this stuff on the website. But he basically found out that welfare spending does not change the abortion rate hardly at all while pro-life legislation does. There's another one where uh, he said, you know, that the pro-life politicians have made a difference. Pro-life laws work. And he, his summary of, the, of this article was during the past 35 years, the pro-life movement has made real progress. The number of abortions has fallen in 12 out of the past 14 years, and the total number of abortions has declined by 21% since 1990. These gains are largely due to pro-life political victories at the federal level in the 80s and at the state level in the 90s, which has made it easier to pass pro-life legislation. He's not just saying that. He actually has good research to back that up. So it's more than just social programs. Yeah, so looking at this, the claim that social programs that Obama's going to set up nationwide will lower the abortion rate. If you look at California, it hasn't particularly worked. And if you look at those studies, it isn't bound to work. 